Hello everybody and welcome back to brand new Dead Overflow video. I am sick as you can probably hear by my voice but that doesn't stop me from making videos so sorry no face cam today but that's besides the point. So if you're new here please for the love of God subscribe. We're trying to hit 100k by the end of the year so please you get to learn some stuff for free. I get a subscriber. It's a win-win situation. Also like this video and please make sure to comment down below what do you think about this video? What are your thoughts? And I respond to every single comment. Also, if you haven't already, this is the last day of the week which you can get my course for the game hacking to be actually drafted into the next video to participate in. And also, just a big, big, huge update. Whoever gets either of my courses, either game hacking or bug bounty, gets a free premium Avino subscription forever. So it will never expire, even if you cancel the subscription. So make sure to get it. Both of the courses are in the description, but also... Make sure to subscribe to my second YouTube channel where I post some YouTube stuff, how to grow on YouTube, etc. So everything is in the description. Now let's go with our today's video. So today's video will be actually a representation of a real issue I found on a website. And sorry for the last video, I didn't announce the winner, but I already know who won it. So I'm going to actually get the all winners their prizes. But for today's video, if you can actually guess the amount of money I was paid for this bug, I'll actually tell you the range. It is from 100 to 1000. So don't say something outrageous. But this is a real bug I found on an actual platform. And this is going to be a reenacting of that. So let's go with today's video. So what this actually website is, when I firstly landed on that website, uh, I immediately started to uh, spoof and smell things. So there is a exploit server, which we're, which we're going to be using. And there's also email client, which is uh, very important. So I'll open that up as well. So what I actually thought first time was whenever I'm on a website, I love to play with the password reset functionality. I just love it for some reason. And this website was no other. Of course, they had forgot password. So what I did is I just entered my username, which is a WNF for this specific website. And it tells you check your email for a password link, which obviously is true. Hello, maybe I actually sent this before. Yeah, there it is. So this is the second one. Hello, please follow the link below to reset your password. And it gives you the link. So this is cool. And I saw that and I was like, okay, I need to test some stuff for the password reset. And as a somebody who, have, who has found many vulnerabilities, I can tell you that one thing, and I can tell you that confidently, people tend to mess up in the password reset the most amount of time. Actually, I would say 80% of my vulnerabilities were related to password reset because it's so hard for some reason to implement a secure version. I, it just blows my mind, especially today with vibe coding. I think it's going to be a bigger problem. So anyways, so once you go to the forgot password like section, you enter your username. And what I always do is I just go with burp and I capture that. So, you know, set up your burp, turn on the foxy proxy. So turn it on and submit. Uh, and after that, it should tell you, check your email, you disable the foxy and over here in the proxy HTTP history, you can see that this is a request. So I'll right click on it and send it to repeater so that we can actually play with it. Uh, one of the things that I actually always find interesting is whenever I send it, I want to look at the response. Maybe in the response, we can see a session token or something like that that will actually reveal to us what was the maybe reset token, because I did find that vulnerability in the past. So my first initial thought was to play with the host header. And believe it or not, that is actually what I immediately done. So I took a look at the host header. It's just the easiest thing to, to do. Uh, I changed it to test.com and I just hit send. And I wanted to see what happened. Because when you look about it, when you, when you think about it, some websites might actually just blindly trust the host from their incoming request and put it here when they're crafting a link to a uh, password reset. So let's go back to our email client. Let's refresh the page and let's see what happens. So, and after it loaded, you can see that we received an email on approximately a few seconds ago, which also includes, hello, please follow the link below to reset your password. And it takes us to test.com instead. And if you obviously open that, it would take us to test.com for password, which of course doesn't exist on that website. But when I saw that, 
I was like, holy, holy moly, what actually has happened just here? And I actually have a great example to show you about this. But actually, I don't. I don't actually have a source code for that. But I also had a similar vulnerability on my website when I was just starting out with uh, full stack development. So that's pretty cool to just know. And one of the things that I always find is interesting is if you can inject yourself here, then it becomes a social engineering tactic to get the victim to open this link. Uh, and you can also get the dangling markup sometimes in here, which would be actually just a HTML injection into the email body and you get to actually leak the password. But that's for another video. So, okay, how are we actually going to steal this? Well, we have the exploit server, which is easy to make. And let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about how to make your own exploit server. It's pretty easy. And if you want it, I'll get it done. So... We can go to the access log and you can see here is where we actually get to see all of the stuff that has been happening and all of the accesses. So what we can do is when we're sending a password reset, instead of the host, we can put the this like example exploit server and just remove this. Remember, we just need this like a host, like a domain and click send. And there we go. We got a 200. Now let's go back here. Let's refresh the page and boom. Look at that. If we open this link, let's say we are victim. Uh, it will tell you resource not found, but it will take you to exploit server. And here in the logs, you actually get to see the password token. This is the forgot password token, which is interesting. And this is essentially what we need to reset the password. So why don't we actually now send a send like um, password reset request to the user who we actually have to hack. His name is Carlos. So let's send this to him. Send. And let's hope he opens it. Boom, let's now see what happens. If I refresh the page, oh, would you look at that? He did open it, and now we actually got his, would you look at that, token for resetting the password. Okay, so let's actually just get, let's just grab a, a regular link, which we need. Well, I'm gonna just actually open this in another website, and let me grab this, and let me just put it right here. I think that should work, and let's hit enter. And would you look at that? After the website loaded, we can set a new password and let's put one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and let's click submit. And we can put Carlos here. So let's save it, go to my account, login, Carlos, boom, login. And would you look at that? We just logged in as Carlos. And this is why the vulnerability was reported of course i reported that to the website and i did get bounty on it so i want you to guess it in the description box but uh, in the comments i'm sorry but besides that get the course if you want to participate in the next video where actually i'm going to be picking five lucky students to participate with me in the next video on game hacking challenge so that will be pretty damn amazing and to top it all off you actually get some example scripts i'm still going to call them that but you actually get example cheats there which work on real games but you can't use them online because it don't doesn't bypass the uh anti-cheat systems that actually is unethical and remember to always be ethical guys so yeah that's it for today's video stay safe stay responsible and as always Peace.